Hi, Hiram here. Last couple of days I've been doing tests on this Ottawa ultralight stove. Oops, let me take that away. And I've been getting a couple of messages and a comment from, uh, well, a comment from the Lion's Den 72, where he said, I wonder what difference it would make if you left out the crossbars and used the wire pot stand instead. Could the crossbars be acting like a heat sink? and actually robbing some of the potential efficiency. Well, these things do get very hot, as I saw the other day when I went to pick it up and almost burned myself. The uh, pot, the burner itself was rather cool, or at least warm enough that I could pick it up, but these things were blazing hot. That's why in the instructions, remember I had said that while I was sitting here watching one of the last tests, it says don't use just the outer burner without the inner burner because it, I guess it could melt these. So what I'm going to do today is take one of the wire stands that I have. Now this I have, this one's already made up. It's a little bit off but these are half inch squares. What I've done is I put a silver dollar here. Not a silver dollar but one of the old dollars from the gambling places that they don't use anymore. Putting the burner on that brings it up to one inch between the top of the burner to the bottom of the pot. Okay, so I've got one, this will be a duplicate of the uh, other test with the quart of water, except I'm just changing it for this. I've already got one fluid ounce of methanol in there. Let me put the one tablespoon in the outer burner. Drip it on there put it on the bottom of the can. That acts like a, a preheater, super preheater. Let me get rid of this. And put the pot stand on. Okay. okay, that's going. I have two cups of, or four cups of water here. Old habit. And let's see where this goes. There we have 210. Okay, this came to a simmer much earlier than the last time. This time it came to simmer in 6 minutes and 10 seconds. There we have 211. Come on. I think maybe this one inch between the top of the burner to the bottom of the pot is too much for this burner. Okay, I've got some steam coming out, but room temperature's gone up from this. Okay, that was 212, looked like at 1317. Okay, 1317. Yesterday, when I did this with the crossbars, uh, it took 10 minutes and 48 seconds. Let's see now how long it takes for a run out. Okay, the flames are going. Got the barest of flames there one or two, three jets, four jets, and it's just puffing now. Let's call it at, one's still burning there. Let's call it at 1733. Okay, that didn't do so hot. Okay, in this case, Four cups of water, one quart, uh, what was it, 0.95 liters of water starting at 60 degrees. Got to boiling in 13 minutes and 17 seconds. 
and then ran out in 17 minutes 33 seconds. In the test yesterday, same water, uh, same temperature, came to a boil in 10 minutes 48 seconds and ran out in 24. So a couple of things here. I guess even though the uh, crossbars are in that, you know, they, uh, they absorb a lot of the heat, but I guess they transfer it to the pot too. This one inch from the top of the burner to the bottom of the pot I think is too much. I should redo the test, maybe just making it about a half of an inch, because that's really about all that this is. Let's see here. Yeah, on this one, the top of the pot to the, or the top of the burner to the bottom of the pot is only a half of an inch, which would be one square on this. So maybe I should redo the test lifting the stove up and see what that does. I think I'll do that. I'll let all this stuff cool down and then I'll be back. Let's see, was there anything else? No, I know uh, I've been getting complaints about using these hardware cloth wire stands, but I'll go into that in another video. So I'll let this stuff all cool down and I'll be back for another test. But for those of you that are leaving me now, I thank you for watching. I thank uh, Lion's Den 72, the Lion's Den 72, for his comment about this. And I thank you all for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.